Today, I'll be showing Freescale's Tower Development System. This is designed to be a modular development platform, which will provide engineers with a powerful, low-cost, reconfigurable development platform for their projects. When you order your platform or tower system, here's what you'll receive. Uh, the tower system comes in three boxes. Um, starting uh, with the top one here is the MCF51CN uh, processor module. Um, the next one is a serial to ethernet module. And third is the elevator board. I'll go ahead and go over what comes in each of these, starting with our elevator board module. Um, inside here, we'll receive uh, two elevator boards. One is the uh, active elevator board. This one has power regulation as uh, well as an on and off switch. This controls all of the signals up and down between the slots and has uh, two 80-pin connectors on the outside for external access to all of the I.O. Uh, this elevator board is just a dummy elevator for structural purposes and has ground signals. Next, in the serial box, there is a quick start guide for the serial board, as well as a USB cable. And the serial board itself, serial Ethernet module, and an Ethernet cable. And then finally, in the MCF51CN box, there's the DVD that comes with this, has uh, all of the documentation um, for all three modules, as well as the cold fire IDE software and the necessary patches, and the lab software. And there's a quick start guide specifically for the MCF51CN. Um, there are two printed out lab tutorials. And then we get to the MCF51CN board itself. And then in here is another USB cable. Uh, this is because the MCF51CN has a BDM and can run as a standalone board if you don't need the serial or Ethernet connections. So once you receive this, <clears throat> you want to insert the CD and install Code Warrior and the patches if you don't have those installed. After that's done, um, then you can take the elevator boards. I'll take the uh, functional elevator board. And you want to note on both of these modules, there's a primary and secondary on here. Make sure you insert the primary into the, uh, the active elevator board. Um, do the same with the serial module, the primary and secondary. Make sure that goes into the elevator board. And then the dummy elevator goes into the secondary sides of both of these. They can be inserted into any of the slots on the elevator modules. I'm going with the top and bottom just for uh, structural purposes. So once you have these installed, you'll notice that there's a USB port on uh, the functional elevator board, the serial board, and the MCF51 board. Um, this board receives power from the USB and can be powered from either of the three as it senses uh, which one it's plugged into. So I'll go ahead and power this up off my USB port here. I'll plug this into the into the elevator board. There's an on and off switch. Oops. I'll plug this in. Make sure I have it flat, um, as there's a, a three-axis accelerometer on the 51CN board. Um, now it's zeroed out, and out of the box, there's a demo running, which will show uh, the three LEDs here will light up depending on the angle that this is tilted at and go in order which angle you tilt this. And uh, that's the basic out of box with the running demo uh, from the factory of the Freescale Tower Board. Um, the part number for this entire kit is uh, 
TWR-MCF51CN-KIT-ND. Thank you.